Okay, everyone ready? This is it. Here they go. Here they go. Yep, they're taking off. So this is the this is the first. We just put So Christina, I'd like you to do the second release, please. So when Asian citrus psyllid showed up here in 2008, we realized that one control option would be to develop a biological control program for this insect. Many agencies have been involved. It's been a, a global effort. We've worked with people in Pakistan. We've been four times over the last 18 months to two years. We've brought back literally thousands of parasites now, which we have used to establish colonies in the quarantine facility here at UC Riverside that based on the safety tests that we'd been doing in quarantine, that this parasite poses no undue risk to the environment of Southern California. It poses no undue risk to humans, pets. It can't spread the Wang Long Bing disease. So all the parasites we're releasing today have been tested for Wang Long Bing, and they are disease free. So one of the major points for this work is that we can't use pesticides in a lot of different areas to control Asian citrus psyllid, especially the urban environment and we're hoping that we can establish this parasite in sensitive areas like people's backyards, public areas, gardens, maybe around shopping malls where the uh, citrus is grown as an ornamental plant. Aviva's work is a PhD student in my lab. She's collected thousands of ACP nymphs now throughout Southern California, and none of them have shown any evidence of being parasitized by a natural enemy in California. So this may be contributing to the ability of this insect to breed up and and start spreading because it's not suffering mortality from a specialized natural enemy. So we're aiming to reintroduce that top-down control and bring the parasites in, establish them and try to lower the population densities of this pest. We're going to work with the California Department of Food and Agriculture and what we're hoping to be able to do is identify sites from Riverside through to LA where we can release the parasites and then we will begin monitoring at very regular intervals to look at establishment rates and then to document the impact that it's having on the pest population in Southern California. Prosper. That's right. Exactly. <laughs>